Welcome back to the channel, my wonderful, beautiful YouTube family. Today's question that I would like to find out, and I already know the answer, of course, is the Huffy Oxide one of the best kids' bikes you can buy for your child, 20 inch? I don't know. Let's find out and see what my opinion is, how it stands up, and how it ranks with other bikes that are close in size first up we have the swin signature boys thrasher 20 inch mountain bike for 339.99 it's got it has v brakes twist shifters majority of these bikes are coming in next you got the rocky mountain bicycle edge junior 20 inch at 420 um, these are the specs for the Cannondale um, kids bike. Got a seven speed twist shifter, 40 millimeter travel fork, which is good. And a uh, XRT uh, uh, Suntour fork, which is nice. Cannondale 20 inch coming in at 435. As you see, we have V brakes again, along with this is the one we just saw um, for the specs and twist shifters this is the polygon i love the polys 399 it does have mechanical disc brakes all the great features but again twist shifters let's see what we got here rotor credits cue the intro and guess what all of these bikes have twist shifters and i'm not a fan let's get started <laughs> What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the lab in the laboratory. Doctor coming back to you um, with the question that I am wondering is the Huffy Oxide 20 inch the best mountain bike for kids? And I, this question, this is a huffy, but the question is a toughie because, man, I really, really do like this huffy oxide. MTV Kid kind of loves it. And I think for, first of all, for the bang for the buck is there, all right? I mean, for what I paid for this and what I what we've gotten um, is great. So let's go over things. I you know we gotta go over pros and cons. So pros and cons of the Huffy Oxide, awesome bike. Um, it is um, a one by seven, um, full suspension, twenty inch kids bike. I love that fade on there from the neon green to the blue. That's nice. Um, Makai does have an eight speed on his. Um, so he is a 14 to 38 tooth. I don't know what it probably came with a 14 to 28 or 13 to 20, something like that tooth. But he has 14 38 tooth on there. Mechanical, disc brakes, 
front and rear. It's a one by, so he's a one by eight. Front and rear mechanical disc brakes. No quick release, but no big deal. Um, what's this? His oil line. Let's do, let's do our, get our measuring. Get our yard measuring stick out here. All right, so we got that. So we're about, about two inches, we'll say. About two inches, so I'll find out what that is. I'll leave it in the video. I'll mark it up there right about now. Um, what the size is. I mean, it has a Shimano. It's just a basic, maybe a H. I don't even know what it is. Um, derailleur on there. I mean, in my opinion, this is the best kids bike you can buy. I'm, I'm serious. Even though it's a Huffy, I know a lot of people are like, what? The doctor is losing it. I mean, I haven't found anything that can compare to this close to the price range and even things that are a lot more or higher price they 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 don't have mechanical disc brakes not usually a full suspension um it's not a one by i mean i don't know um the things though that i don't that so i would give you so those are the pros right Nice fork, decent suspension on there, um, decent um, Shimano, it's one by full suspension. Now the thing that I don't like about this, and just me being honest and candid and truthful with you, the weight, it, it, it is a heavier bike, it is. And some people say, hey, this bike is heavier, no worries. Kids shouldn't be off the leaving the ground too much anyway. Maybe it'll keep them, you know, planted on the ground. I don't know how true that is. I mean, I guess with a heavier bike, you don't you don't leave the ground too often, so that's not a problem. But Makai get he does fine with it. With this with his eight speed on there, um, he rides everywhere. I do. He rarely, rarely gets off anymore, has to push. So he does what and, and the weight is not an issue that much where it's gonna affect their riding. And something that's heavier, what is it gonna do? It's gonna make your kid stronger, right? That's how I look at it. I'm a coach though too, so he'll just be strong. Um, other thing that I don't like, and these are only two things that I don't like about it. And, and the heavy part is not, it's not really a, a deal breaker for me. I don't even care about that weight. The thing that was almost though, and that gave me the hardest, is because of how it is made, and it being a 20 inch bike, it's tight. And when I mean tight, like not for, you know, changing things or anything like that, but getting it on the bike rack. Yeah, getting on the bike rack, it's a toughie. <laughs> the Huffy is a toughie getting on the bike rack. It's not that bad, but instead of you wrapping it through here or being able to get here, the bike rack, because it's so small already, right? It has to come here. So you have to fit this on there. It's, it's doable. And you kind of have to get it under here in between the thing i make it happen though it's, it's not it's not a uh complete deal breaker right it's a little a little tough but it's a toughie you know you can you can figure it out and work through that but other than that man i think that this bike is completely awesome i love the tires i mean for him i just love it the size of them gives him that extra little cushion i mean i I, I like it. I, I like I like everything about this bike. I really do. He loves it. I love it. Great price point. So definitely, um, if you do find one for your kids, if you see one, I advise you. You know whether you know you have a a, a young man or or a young lady. Um, I advise you getting it, and then um, definitely um, get the. Um, um, if you if you are if you're a parent and you're just getting in the ride or something want something, they do have the um, the Huffy Oxide in um, a 27.5, so that could be a good a good buy for you. Um, I know because I know uh, Eugene he had asked why didn't I get the Huffy Oxide instead of the uh, Mongoose Bash, because the Bash was of course to me I love the color. Um, it said 
you know, my Dr. Frankenstein to me. The color worked. It was great. I loved it. Uh, and, of course, it was for my wife. Um, the reason I didn't get the oxide, um, because the oxide in the men's to 27.5, I think it might have it. I, think that, I don't think it have 29. I think it's just 27.5. But in the men's, is also heavy. And I didn't really want to go with that heavy. It's, a, it's heavier than... Um, than my bike, um, and this one, I didn't want to have to deal with the the rack thing again. So that's why one of the reasons I didn't uh, go with the oxide, um, you know, for the adult, um, and it was for my wife. And this one, I just liked the look better. I liked it, the green. It was just good, you know. I I liked it. All right, so there you have it. my take on the Hubby Oxide. I really do think that this um, is the uh, best bike for your money um, because, like, even like I said, even if weight is an issue, right, or you don't have enough, if you don't think your child has enough um, front shock or rear shock, these are things that are upgradable. So instead of, like I said, most of the kids, buy, well, most of the, the higher end or entry level um, bikes by the big brands or bigger brands than Huffy will say, um, they don't have these components. They have the uh, V-brakes. Um, I mean, a lot of them weren't full suspension. I just, I don't know. This was just, to me, it's the best bang for your buck. Like I said, if those things are a problem, even if the weight's a problem, you get a new fork, new air shock. I mean, you can lighten this thing up, new handlebars. You could lighten this thing up and still come out cheaper from buying the bike and doing the upgrades to it to make it lighter and, um, you know, a little bit more beefier on the fork if you have a kid that really does ride heavy stuff, heavy, heavy stuff. Um, you could change all that out and still be under the price of some of these entry-level um, bikes that come with V-brakes. So that's my take on it. Um, I think it's awesome. I love it. Um, if I had another opportunity to buy another one, I would. So if I find another one, because I was thinking about it, I got to get rid of some bikes, right? So I'm not going to get rid of my bikes, of course. No, never that. Because I love my bikes. And the, um, the Swin Aluminum Comp and the Swin Boundary, these are the two bikes that started my channel. So I'm not going to get rid of those. But I am going to be getting rid of these. Yeah, the Swin Ranger. I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, this Huffy Highland uh, for my daughter. Yeah, getting rid of this one because she doesn't ride this bike. And I'm going to get, well, I'm probably going to get her aluminum comp though. It's just not comfortable for her anyway, too. It's really tight, cumbersome. It was just a quick buy. Um, it sucks. Let me not, let me take that back. The bike does not suck. Bike is a decent bike. It's very capable for who it is for riding around, light trails, things like that. I just don't like. It's me personal. That's this one of the things in my quirks. I don't like V brakes, and there's nothing against V brakes. Like they're bad, right? I'm not saying that V brakes are bad or mechanical brakes are so much more better. I mean, they might be a little bit better, um, but I'm not saying V brakes are bad. The reason I don't like V brakes, and it's really me why I don't like it. It's not the brakes, it's me. It's because I have the hardest time adjusting them. That's just simply, that's it. <laughs> I just, I don't adjust them well, don't do well. So, I don't like them. Get rid of that, and then we're gonna get rid of the MTB Kids Kai um, old bike, uh, his BCA. I was gonna keep it for like when his friend or something comes over or wants to ride or something like that, but 
I mean, this bike compared to that bike, big difference won't be the same. I'm just going to get another, um, when they come along, I'm going to get another Huffy Oxide and get rid of this one, sell it. Because like I, say, I mean, that, it's just not a good bike for his first bike, what we could get at the time when the pandemic first started. Um, so all we could find was this for my daughter, that Sway Ranger for my wife, and the BCA was for MTB Kid Kai. So I'm gonna get rid of that BCA, this Huffy Highland, and probably the Swing Ranger, sell them marketplace or something, or I might even donate them or give them away. More like that probably will know me. Find some kids or Christians that may want some bikes, maybe wash them up and do it that way. You know, we'll see how it goes, what happens. But yeah, that's um, it's pretty much it. Um, what I, my outtake, like I said, on the best kids bike, uh, 20 inch at least, best 20 inch bike um, for kids, uh, mountain bikes. Um, it's gonna be. In my opinion, the uh, of the outside. So definitely, um, always again, uh, like, subscribe, make sure you comments, comment, notifications that turned on, support the channel um, any way you can. We greatly appreciate it. Like I say, through your likes, comments, um, sharing is caring. So you can share with someone you think they might enjoy the channel. Um, you can. Um, buy us a cup of coffee. The link is in the description. Um, also, there'll be affiliate links um, that you can purchase off of Amazon. Things you can purchase that'll help you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna um, put some. Um, I just ordered some. Um, well, I haven't ordered them yet. I'm about to order some. Um, there's some Rock Brother gloves and there um, some glasses. Uh, photochromic glass. I'll show you guys the pictures of them. Um, and I'll have put the links in there. Um, really good. It looks like really good glasses. Look like great, awesome gloves. Um, and I'm getting there really padded because I'm tired of running into or whacking my hand on the trees. It gets old and painful when you already got carpal tunnel and everything in your hands and everything. So. All right, so, um, oh man, I forgot I even had this. What is this? I got a whole 21 speed. I'm just seven speed. What can I put this on? I wonder if this would be better than his micro shifts. Sorry for the um, delay. Um, definitely. Um, thanks for watching again. Thanks for all the support. Love. Um, as always, it's the doctor signing out. Peace. Deuces.